Lil Kesh, no longer will I be on L. Shocking story. Probably one of the biggest stories we're going to hear this year. For To me, it doesn't make sense. Why should he leave at the height? Like, he's, he's reaching the peak of his career. Why should he leave YBNL? Like, give him everything. I'm not surprised that he's leaving. Why? Because Olamide has always said it. Olamide has always said, you know, he is trying to invest in these guys to the point where they can stand on their own. And that's what's happening. So this is a beautiful thing. Yeah, but what kind of business structure is that? Leo Cash is making you mad money. Yeah. Why do you now say, oh, you know, I'm going to let you go and do your own thing. Obviously, Olamide's cuts would have been reduced by now because he's coming in as just a manager. Well, it's very simple. Olamide signed him for two years. After the two-year recording contract, it is up to them to reward, to revisit the contract and say, okay, let's sign for another period or we just, you know, we don't sign. Yeah. You understand? And they've been so mature about it. What happens most times in the industry? Somebody signs an artist, especially when an artist signs an artist, right? Yeah, we know The that. underdog becomes a very popular artist yeah. and what he fights to break loose, yes. then sets up his own stuff, sets up his own label, opens Instagram and Twitter account and say he has his own record label. Yeah. That's what happens, right? Yeah. But this is not the case here. Okay. And I, I like it because in the midst of we not having any infrastructure or any record proper le uh, record label set up, what Olamide is setting a precedence for a lot of other what artists yes. to follow. He signed Lil Cash for two years, made sure in the two years he signed him, he blew the guy. The guy has four, five hit songs. Yes. He's released his album. In the space of that two years, right, now the boy can stand on his own and says, you know what, stand on your own and grow. Same way Olamide, now we seem to forget this. Olamide left ID Kabasa and Kode Tunes, yeah. one album deep. But that Olamide that's... dropped his first album, Rhapsody, in 2011. Yeah. Second album was what? YBNL. Yeah. That was an independent movement. He had not even started the label then. It was the album that now inspired, the album name that even inspired the name of the label, YBNL Records or whatever. I Do you understand you. what I'm saying? So it is the same thing that is happening here. Lil Kesh has released what? Yagi. Yagi Records. And he's setting up his own thing. Boom. But I don't think it's the same thing. Because How is it not the same thing? Liu Kesh made it big under Olamide. Yagi yeah. was phenomenal. He had hits. Under Adi, Adi Kabasa, Olamide wasn't Olamide that we know now. Which even makes it better. How? Why? Because Olamide left as what? An underdog. Yes. Leaving Kode Tunes, right? After an album, which was, you know, just average. Liu Kesh, on the other hand, is at the top of the game. If you want to call top five rappers now, I'm sorry. Liu Kesh is going to make the list. I don't know how. Definitely. But he's going to make the list because Definitely. what? He has bangers. He has good album which he's not promoting by the way you understand but now he's living so he's on that level and he can live there's confidence people are still going to call him for shows he's still going to do a lot of collaborations with everybody boom yeah but music he makes the story better music is a funny business yeah. how are we sure that little cash can make it on his own here's the super trick he's still being managed by what olamide's team but how olamide has a fantastic manager alex okeke yes. right and they are working together and they will keep managing what little cash so record-wise, making the records, recording the songs and all that, fine. I don't know. Lucas needs to sort himself out, which he hasn't done badly so far. Yeah. But now he's going to be managed by Olamide. This is the kind of setup we need because it is an independent hustle in Nigeria. Record labels cannot function properly. Okay. You just have a few labels like the Mavens who are actually doing doing so well as to keeping the, uh, you know, the label structure tidy and proper. Other than that, Olamide, Fino, all these guys are what they are independent artists. So if Olamide can see one guy, sign him up and make him relevant enough, boom, he goes, he sees another person. What should happen now is Liu Kesh should also discover one or two people from Bariga, from anywhere, and also blow them up. So it becomes it was a, a super chain. Okay. If there were structures in Nigeria, what would have happened would be Olamide will offer Liu Kesh yes, a deal, his own, his, own, his own imprint deal. So it would be what? Yagi Stroke YBNL Records. Simple. Okay. This is what has happened to Rockefeller Records and Def Jam. This is what happened with Murder Inc. and Def Jam. It's simple. That's the setup. But we don't have that setup in Nigeria. So all you can do is what Olamide has done. Okay. Do you think Olamide has discovered a structure for artists who want their record label? Because we keep hearing that, hey, uh, artists make horrible CEOs. They hold on to the artists for too long. They don't want them to blow. Yeah. What do you think he has found the blueprints that will work for both parties? It seems like this is the blueprint. I'd like to see how this plays out. Okay. Olamide might have just found the blueprint that we've been looking for. We all know what happened. See, except maybe Banky W and a few other people. How many artists have signed an artist and the artist what has be has grown has grown way bigger than the artist that signed him? We were heard backstories about how artists don't want to make the other artists they signed as big as they are because what they are jealous or they are just a bit selfish about it. 
Olamide didn't think about that. See, Shoki became so big, or so big, it was bigger than any Olamide yeah, song. Yeah. Olamide is also a hardworking guy, so he brought out Shaki Bobo and the other songs, right? But Olamide jumped on Shoki. I brought the video too. Do you understand? Now, Shoki was performed at the Chanelo Music Awards. Olamide, Cash, and, and the video. If that song didn't exist, if Olamide didn't think of bringing the video, using his influence to bring the video on the, on the record to do a hot remix, they wouldn't have performed that Chanelo Music Awards. It's that simple. At the end of the day, he has a very, very good question he has, asked, he has been asking us for months now. Who you help? Who you help? Do you understand? Yeah. You have to help people to help you. And if Olamide has signed these guys, broken them as artists, all they need to do now is also sign other people and break other people. And that is the super chain we are looking for. This might just be something that will grow the industry. Because all we see is artists sign artists, they fight, he goes to set up his own. We don't hear of the artists anymore. Do you think there are a lot of artists that have less labels. Mucheda left Night House. She's struggling. Yeah. 2DK left his label. He's struggling. Okay. Do you understand? A lot of other artists. So this might just be the answer. Do you think Cash is a visionary for him to say, okay, let me break break artists on my own? Because it's not easy for you to, you might be talented, but for you to be able to break an artist out there is a different ballgame entirely. It is. So he has to also make that decision to himself. You understand? But maybe with Bado's mentoring, he yeah. can understand how to also discover talent and break talents because that's what we're looking for. Someone helps you, you also help someone. You understand? So the chain continues. There are some artists, they might, it might not be their forte to look for artists Artist. and break artists. Do you understand? It might not be their forte. But people like Olamide, it's clearly shown. Look at Adekunle Gold. Four singles, four videos, all chart toppers. Do you understand? Same thing with Cash. Look at M.I., what he did with Jesse Jags and Ice Prince. Came to Lagos, broke into the industry, brought Jesse and Ice Prince in. Look at Ice Prince today, meeting Jay-Z in New York. Do you understand? This is what we are looking for. For people to break into the industry and also carry, you know, carry people on their back and break them into the industry. Okay. So, Kesh, he might not have it now. And I, a lot of people are scared. Can he do it on his own? Can he, does he? Man, this boy has been doing a, a lot on his own. Even with, y, with YBNL. So let's, it's for us to look and see. But I'm hopeful and I think he can do it. Okay, one thing I've noticed is that when an artist leaves the label set up, we don't, see, like a talented artist leaves the label, we don't see a bidding war. Little Cash is no longer with YBNL. Why aren't the so called record labels out there starting a bidding war for Which record Cash? labels do we have we apart have from Maven, EME, and Chocolate City? City. We what? have three labels in a country of 200 million people. But those three and structure wise, we can't even call them proper no, labels. But those three can start a bidding war for Lucas because the but, boy has but, but let's break it down. That's revenue. Does for Maven them. need Lucas? No. They, have they don't have a rapper. They, they, but do they need Lil Cash? They don't have a rapper. No, but let's think of it. Do they really need Lil Cash? Rap market. Okay, no, no not they really. They don't really they need Lil Cash. Does Chuck City, they have, well, they have 13 artists. Do they need another artist? Probably not. Do they need a hot rap artist? Do they need a hot rap artist? artist. Maybe, maybe not. But they have artists that they are still that are still under artist development. So, say, leave Chuck City. Hear me. Probably, look, you know, finding the time. But does even Lil Cash, does it fit with the ME brand? No. No. So, after those three labels, done. But here's the thing, even if those labels offer Lil Cash a deal, he will go the indie way. Why? Because Olamide went the indie way and made it. So that is his formula right now. And at the end of the day, you have to look for the formula that best fits your career and how you can scale your business as an artist and a brand bigger. Facts only.